Cold Coffee, a Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. If you enjoy this one shot, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. Adrian shifted uncomfortably in his seat as he waited for his guest to arrive. The last two years of feelings built up to this moment, and he wasn't sure if he'd be able to see it through. How do you express years of emotions with one little coffee date? Sorry I'm late, Marinette said, sliding into the seat across from him. Her hair was pinned up and she had winged eyeliner on. It's different than her usual style, but it made his heart race. She was beautiful. But thank you for inviting me out. I wasn't expecting it. Of course she wasn't. Adrian found out that she was Ladybug two weeks ago, but she still had no idea that he knew. Finding out that his classmate was his love of two years only made him fall for her more. They were seventeen and about to graduate. He couldn't just let her slip out of his life. But every time they met face to face, he became too flustered to talk. If they kept this up, they wouldn't see much of each other as civilians once they got diplomas. You're one of my best friends, Marinette. I want to spend more time with you. She tucked a piece of loose hair behind her ear and picked up a menu. Have you ordered yet? She asked. Not yet. It's a little late in the afternoon for coffee, don't you think? I'd settle for a hot chocolate. What are you getting? That sounds good, actually. I'm always down for a good hot chocolate, and I've never had one from this cafe before. But I'm trying to eat less sugar, so... Maybe a coffee for me. Adrian stood up to order at the counter as she looked over the menu a bit more. What can I get for you? The barista asked. A medium hot chocolate, a black coffee, a pepperoni panini with provolone cheese, and a vegetarian panini as well, please, Adrian said, pulling out his wallet. He sat back down at the table after paying, taking in the little red dress Marinette was wearing first. Did you just order? She asked. Yeah. I got you a vegetarian panini. I hope that's all right with you. I think everything else on this menu has some kind of meat on it, so... You know that I don't eat meat? You've been a vegetarian for the last few months, right? I just don't remember telling you. Did Alia say something? Nah. I've just noticed you don't eat meat over the last two weeks and shuffled through my memory of the last time you did. You've been paying attention to me? Adrian felt himself begin to blush. Well, I learned that Ladybug's a vegetarian, so I guess I've just been a little more sensitive to other people's diets since then. Marinette blinked in surprise. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Adrian felt the need to keep a conversation going through the awkward lull that fell between them. I guess it is a little warm out for hot chocolate, huh? Nothing better than a hot drink in the middle of August, Marinette giggled. Good. That seemed to beat the mood. Have you ever tried frozen hot chocolate? <laughs> that sounds absurd. No, I... I haven't. Well, don't. Or at least, don't try it in front of me. I don't care for it. Is it that bad? It tastes like a Starbucks drink. But because it's labeled chocolate, it's just weird. Because it's not cold hot chocolate, it's frozen hot chocolate. And they add a bunch of other stuff inside it as well. Tastes great, but I can't enjoy it because of the name. The same goes for frozen coffee. That's silly, Marinette said, scrunching her nose as she covered her mouth to giggle. She's too cute.
Adrian almost couldn't handle it. What else could he say to make her laugh? Ugh, being a 17-year-old boy wasn't easy. Here's your order, the barista said, interrupting his thoughts and setting down a tray. You paid for me? Adrian, you shouldn't have, Marinette exclaimed. You didn't put that together when I said I ordered you a vegetarian panini? Adrian said. He watched as she blushed and played with some loose hair. But doesn't that... She began, cutting herself off. What? It's nothing. Tell me. Adrian brushed his fingers against hers. It was meant to be a friendly gesture, but as his heart beat faster, he realized that it might come across as flirtatious. Doesn't that make this a date? Marinette asked in a small voice. He almost choked on the sip of hot coffee in his mouth. His defense system immediately went up, the one that told him to deny it, but he fought the urge to flee. Better now than never, right? Well, you weren't about to ask me on one, so I figured I should make the first move. He died internally as the cat noir side of him couldn't help but resist winking at her as he said it. Did he just say that? Seriously? Marinette went from pink to beet red in point two seconds, and Adrian didn't know how to respond. This was a bad idea. This was obviously a bad idea. What had gotten into him, anyway? It wasn't like him to take a risk like that without the mask. Especially not with relationships. Thank you for the food, she said, her voice just above a whisper. An uncomfortable silence encompassed the two of them as Adrian tried to think of a way to change the subject. So, um, how's the sandwich? he asked. How did you know Ladybug's a vegetarian? Adrian froze. She told him when they went to a charity event for the mayor. Was it not common knowledge? Was Cat Noir the only one she told? I, uh, ran into Cat Noir? Yeah, he told me. Adrian felt a pit growing in his stomach. There was no reason to lie, was there? Why was his first response to do so? She was his partner. Wasn't it right that she knows his identity after he learned hers? Nope. That was too scary. He'd stick to buffing the truth for now. Oh. Oh? I didn't realize he had friends. Adrian bit his tongue to keep from laughing. Her words were a bit harsh, but he knew what she meant. The nature of their masks was lonely. They usually couldn't hang out around others with them on, so friends were out of the picture with their alternative identities. He had a photo shoot at the agency I work with. That was true. Oh, yeah, he mentioned that, didn't he? She said picking up her drink to take a sip. You talked to him as well? Marinette choked on the drink, and Adrian couldn't help but smirk, finding a funny irony in the way she messed up like he had just moments before. Ladybug told me, she exclaimed, slamming the drink onto the tabletop with a little too much energy than required. Adrian debated pushing the story further, just to tease her but decided against it. She was cute when flustered, but there was no need to make her feel uncomfortable. I heard this cafe is getting cat noir and ladybug themed drinks, he said, changing the subject. Yeah, the two of them gave the owner their favorite ingredients and drink order, and they're going to make it exclusively. I wonder if it's going to be as popular as the unicorn frappuccino. Before he realized it, an hour had passed between them, and he still hadn't touched his food. 
Are you going to eat that? Marinette teased, pointing to his sandwich. I guess I'll have to get a box, he shrugged. Marinette slipped out of her seat before he could move, returning shortly with a container. Thank you, he said, surprised at her gesture. It made his heart glow a little bit, as though the summer heat wasn't enough to warm him already. Time to go? she asked, grabbing her purse. Yeah, I guess, he said, feeling his heart sink. He wanted to spend more time with her. Adrian wanted to get to know her better. Okay, well, it was nice. Thank you. Same time next week? Adrian almost bit his tongue asking her. He was scared of her answer, of course. He watched as a grin spread across her face, an image that could fuel him through three Akuma fights and a math test. Yeah! Adrian couldn't help but smile to himself as he gathered his things to leave. There may have been some awkward pauses, but after today he was certain. He didn't just like Ladybug. He liked Marinette for Marinette as herself. On the way out the door, Adrian put the straw of his drink to his lips for a sip, surprised at the taste. There was an irony to it for sure, especially after the conversation they had earlier. Adrian's smile turned into a grin. He knew that, whenever he'd think of his first date with Marinette Dupeng Chang, he'd remember the taste of his cold coffee. Note from the author. I had a friend who would always eat first, talk after, whenever we went out for drinks, saying it's a shame to let food we've paid extra money for go cold. I happen to disagree. Whenever I'm out for coffee and my drink gets cold, I think it's an accomplishment. It means I spent more attention on who I'm with instead of the material in front of me. So that's what this story is about. Adrian spent so much time enjoying Marinette's company that he let his hot coffee go cold. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this fanfiction, you can check out others like it. If you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed to stay up to date on the latest releases of Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction. I'll catch you next time.